We kept quiet enough. We cannot allow a situation we find our ways in Nigeria today where lunatics have taken over the asylum. Nigeria cannot continue the way it's going today. And it's your prayers. Your prayers is you're not asking for anything more. You're asking just for good governance. You're asking them hope to build a place for your children. We want to give the children of this country hope. We are asking for more. We have 100 million Nigerians living in poverty. We have our young ones who have gone to school without a job, without a future. They are not asking for anything. They want an opportunity to earn a living. It is not too much for their country to give them. So I'm going around asking people, do not shy away from politics. We have an election coming up in 2023. P2B is not asking you today for vote for P2B. I'm asking you to sit down and scrutinize all those that are offering themselves for election. Put all of us on a scale. Let's know who we are. Let's ask questions who we are. Let's verify who we are. Because Peter B is from the East, I will vote for him. Do not vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. Do not vote for anybody because they're from the West. Do not vote for anybody because they're from the North. This is time to vote a human being who have conscience and trust. So if Peter B is not the one, if Peter B is not the one to be trusted, don't vote for him. Don't vote for him because he gave you money. Because he will steal your money. This is the time we have seven months. You have seven months to ask questions. Who is Peter B? Where did he go to school? Who are his families? Who are those who say they? Question. Don't listen to our grammar. Don't even look at our certificates. Yes, you can ask me when the question. But remember that educational qualification is not a measure of integrity. There's so many criminals that went to school. There's so many people who went to school who are criminals. This is time to ask about people's lifestyle. Where they live, where they live, everything. That is what we need now. Don't listen to our promises. Ask questions. The ones we promised in the past, how did we keep it? That is important. This country is not productive. We want to give people a job. Our Father in the Lord has said this uh, because of sit at home. These are all that start, that were caused by bad leadership. You can have 100 million people who don't know where the next meal will come from and you have security. No. It is all that cost it. Insecurity can be have been fought in other countries of the world, in South America, in Asia. The more you pull people out of poverty, the more you reduce criminality. People's businesses are collapsing. Our children are not in school for four
All our children are in schools overseas. So those who are here cannot be in school. People are dying because there's no health care. Nothing. This is time to ask questions about all of us. I only ask for prayers. No prayers for me. Or prayers for Nigeria. Prayers that Nigeria do not make mistake in 2023. Prayers that will start electing people with conscience. People with fear of God. Everybody here is a child of God. Peter B is not better than anybody here. Whatever I've gotten in life is by his And it has to stop. It's God that give, gave us power. Gave us position. To use it to serve humanity. But we have used it to serve ourselves. And that is what we need to question now. And like I said, do not listen to politicians, including me, talk. Go and verify. We know how to speak sweet things, but we'll go and verify from our homes. As even our wives, our children, who their father is, how he lives at home, his relationship with his wife. Not continue the way we are today. I thank you for the opportunity. It was prayers that I asked. And let me tell you as I end, because I said it's not a political gathering. Maybe in November, our Father in the Lord will authorize me to then talk about politics because we'll be campaigning then. Today is prayers. But well, let me tell you what your prayer point will be. As you go on now, do not pray for Nigeria. Nigeria is one of the best places God created in the surface of the earth. Nigeria has a 923,000 square kilometers of land. Fatal land. Some other people don't have it. Nigeria is 200 million people. But well, because of bad political leadership, it's unproductive. So our total export last year, to just give you an example, is under 30 billion dollars. All we do here is sharing, sharing, sharing. No producing, producing, producing. A country like Vietnam is 331,000 square kilometers. A third of Nigeria in size, with 100 million persons, half of Nigeria, their total export last year is $312 billion. So Nigeria couldn't export 10% of what Vietnam is exporting. It's not a first world country. I've studied about 31 countries and found out that God blessed Nigeria. He gave them everything but gave them bad leadership. And that cannot continue.